This is Justin Higgins, and today I'm going to show you how to make a pretty sweet DVD or CD hovercraft. So you're going to need a CD, some scissors, some tape, a balloon, and most importantly, you need to find a cheap water bottle. And a cheap water bottle is great because the plastic is really thin and you get this valve. It's a super simple valve. All it does is it closes and prevents any air or anything from traveling through it. And that's really good because it makes it our hovercraft so that when we put the balloon on here, we can blow it up easily and do it all over again. So looking at our water bottle, let's cut the top off and I'm not going to be too careful there. You can throw that in the recycling because all I really want is the top. Now I'm going to cut off a little bit of this excess. You want about two centimeters or two thirds of an inch or so of plastic in a round circle around the nozzle of the hole. Cut up to just a little bit away from the edge. If you cut too far, you're going to end up with leaks. Bend the plastic back a little bit so that you have this kind of plasticky, flowery type thing. And then what you're going to do is you're going to position this over the hole in the CD. And you need to make sure that on the CD that you have the, the side that goes down on the computer downward because this is the really, really flat side. You can really feel there's not a lot of uh, friction that's going to happen on this side. But on this side, the way that they print them, you can you can feel that there's there's tiny differences on the surface, which is going to add more friction. So if you want your hovercraft to work, you have to do it like so. That piece of plastic over there. Position this over the hole and then just start taping. Now you could use uh, hot glue. It doesn't really matter what you use to keep this attached. Now I'm doing a very simple version of this and what I'm going to do with my tape is make sure that I cover any possible holes in my hovercraft. And so I'm going to tape all the way up to the very edges of the plastic. And you can see here that there might be some benefits if you were going to use hot glue because some of us seem to struggle sometimes with making tape come out of the dispenser. Now I am not very interested in making mine look really pretty. I just want it to work. So I'm just going to use a ton of tape, metric tons of tape. And that looks like I've covered every single hole on there. You can see that the tape is covering all those little tiny splices I put in the plastic flower from earlier. Now you can kind of see the gist of what I'm getting to here. I can attach that, remove it, put it back on. Now I'm using a 12 inch balloon. Five inch balloons work better, but the five inch balloons that I had in my house are about five years old and when I try to blow them up they explode. <clears throat> So take the balloon and put it over the edge of your valve. 
and go ahead and blow it up. Now I'm using a 12 inch balloon so I'm not going to blow it up all the way. Now with it blown up I could seal the valve and especially for small children this makes it much easier for them to actually attach it because an adult can do this and do multiple things at the same time but little kids just can't. They haven't developed the motor control. Reattach it, open the valve, and you got a hovercraft. Now the science that's going on here has to do with friction. And I am going to grab a board so that we can show what's going on. Because if I have it's just a whiteboard right here, I put some things under it so it's got an angle. And when I put my CD hovercraft on there, focus, it doesn't move. That's because I have to overcome the friction to get it to move. Now air, and you can go like this with your hands, woo, air doesn't have a lot of friction. So what I'm doing when I attach the hovercraft and I shove air through the balloon, out through the bottom of the hovercraft, I'm creating a very thin film of air that's much easier to move through allowing my hovercraft to slide. Cool. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, this is Justin Higgins. If you like this video, go ahead and hit thumbs up. If you like everything I'm doing, go ahead and subscribe. If you'd like to suggest future videos, do so in the comments. Have a great day.